Hi guys, um, this is just a quick little video to look at a neat little trick um, where you can use the program GIMP to change the colors within an image um, pretty easily. So the way that I like to think about it is if you've looked through maybe cellophane before or colored glass, um, maybe a really tinted pair of sunglasses, um, what you see around you has a slightly um, different color or tint to it. So we're going to kind of do the same thing here. We're going to add another layer into our project and we're going to change it so that when we look through it, uh, it shows us a particular color. So we'll go ahead now and we'll add another layer to our project using the standard um, settings there. We're going to now change the type of layer that it is okay by selecting that new layer and we're going to come down and change it to hue all right if this layers dialog uh, little window isn't sitting up on your screen um, pressing control l should bring that back up for you now to begin with if i got a paint bucket and i chose a color say uh, red to make my uh, three-wheeler red if I fill that color into this layer it'll be like looking through red glass okay much the same if I went to blue we'd get a blue tint across the whole screen which is kind of interesting but not really uh, what we were after so what we're going to do now rather than painting that whole screen is we're just going to select the paintbrush tool um, choose a fairly large brush uh, you can play around with the scale to get a um, size that suits your particular project I'm going to go back to our red here I'm just going to quickly go through the bike a little bit rough to but give you the general idea um, so while I'm going through here one of the little things that's handy to know if you're new to GIMP is if you click and then hold down shift so click left go hold down shift it'll draw in a straight line and then when you click again uh, it'll draw that line so click hold down and straight line which can be handy if you're trying to do some uh, careful portions or some accurate drawing so as I said, fairly rough. Um, I can go back through anywhere in here and just use an eraser tool, and that's going to erase out the, um, the kind of the tinted effect that I've put over. So, coming back out to have a look at what we've got so far, I can see that it's still looking pretty rough, but hopefully, you get the general idea there. Now, if I uncheck this back layer, I can see the tint, the paint that I've put over top there to look through. Um, a handy little thing to know, if I right click on that layer and check alpha to selection, it's going to highlight that particular area. Okay, so coming back here, I can use that paint bucket fill now and I can choose any other color and it's just going to fill that particular portion of the image. So let's have a look, uh, see what a purple car would look like. Okay, select none will take us back to just our image again. So there's the general idea. Now, just as a little extra, this image here, which I've already added a new layer to and changed it to hue, um, because there's less color in the background of the image, I'm just gonna quickly show you the gradient tool. Now with the gradient tool, um, the blend tool, sorry, I'm just going to click and drag a line right across the page and you can see that because there's not a lot of color in the rest of the image, it's still giving me a pretty cool effect. Um, if I wanted to, I could go through and color the calipers and things separately um, or change one of these individual colors and come across. Um, so there you go, a quick little tip on how to change colors using GIMP. Have fun!